Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of the Alfian Show, <laughs> featuring featuring the GOG Monthly Winner Box Modern Semi-Finals here at Grey Ogre Games. Joining me is the esteemed caster himself, uh, Ruben Sidney Ong. What? What's, why, where's the Ong come from? Oh, it's not, it's not Ong? It's not. It's, it's Lim. The Ruben Sidney Lim. Okay, <laughs> got it. <laughs> Today we have a... We have a spicy one for you guys. It's Yu Pei Ken versus Lim Chong Yi, Master Chong Yi himself, member of the Grey Team Grey Ogre Games. What does Chong Yi play? Vani Fa Pot. Oh, he's the guy that we were. Yes, Chong Yi is the pot guy. He 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 top he, he got a really high seat in the top eight. So we're gonna see some spicy spice, some cool cool, some very uh, henshin. Rider kick and stuff. I'm gonna see Vanifa. What, what, what? Actually, what's his win con? Does he have like Kiki Jiki? And stuff? Yes! Oh. He does! Okay, and so that's. Angel and oh, so it's, so it's Kiki Cot. So it's Kiki Kiki Pot. No, it's Vanifa Pot. It's Kiki Jiki Pot. <coughs> and he, does he also play Evolution? Yes, he does. Oh, so it, it's, it is just Pot. You make it sound like. It's Potless Pot. <laughs> <laughs> like Luster. I mean, hey man, Pagan is playing a, playing a spicier deck. Pagan is playing elves. And he ran over. Black, white, black, green elves? Yes, and he ran over. He ran over his po- his previous f- opponent, which was. Uh, uh, what's his name? Ah, Tian. Zhu Tian. Zhu Tian. What's Zhu Tian playing? Black Control, you saw that. Oh, yeah, I did. No, I didn't watch that. Mm. I like that. I like that elves <coughs> through the top tables. Me too, man. Elves is a cool deck. Oh wait, you are an elf player. What am I talking about? He's biased, everybody. Elf is biased. See, my the the <laughs> my, my the first part of my name is elf, so you know I'm an elf player, right? <laughs> Elfian. So you know I got a root for got, I got to be rooting for Pekin oh. here. Oh jeez. So it's uh it's two the, uh, the battle of two combo decks. Elves versus I, I Vanifa. Have to say, I like how elves can win out of nowhere. <coughs> yeah, same. It's like a good. Like that one card, it comes into play and you lose life. It's a good. De- it's a good deck. What card is that? What shaman? Of the yeah, pack? yeah, shaman. Yeah, what shaman? What? Shaman of the pack. Shaman of the pack. Yes, it's I died to it a couple of times. It's a good deck, man. <laughs> I was like, he, he, they were like Coco. Okay, and two shaman. Oh, I guess I lose. Let's go to game two. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. Num- turn one over higher. Okay, let's see what Pekin is. Interest- well, let's see what Pekin has in store for us. Whoa. Guild Leaf Palace. Whoa. It's not, you don't see that every day. You don't see that every day, folks. Palace is actually a pricey card. Yeah, it is a pricey <laughs> card. I think it's too oh, I think it's too expensive. I think I think uh, Watsi should consider reprinting Guild Leaf Palace so that I can afford a playset. Ah. A foil playset. What? Uh, okay, that's really now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was like a non foily And now uh, Chong Yi has... No, he's not He's not going to use his 3 mana. He's just going to... Blue, okay. black, elves? It's black, Blue, green, man. Black, green, elves. <laughs> Vanifa... Pot. Vanifa... Pot. Okay. Does it fit? Oh, it yeah, it does fit. Oh, he- oh, 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 heritage. Oh, 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 three, okay, three, three mana, okay. This is, we're, we're going off, folks. He's going off, folks. Who, who, who's that? What, Arch, Arch Druid? Uh, heritage Druid. No, the, 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 with three mana, Arch Druid, right? Yeah, Arch Druid, oh. And he plays Arch Druid, sure. I'm not sure if the Vanifa pot deck has anything in form of interaction. I, I hope it does, <laughs> because... So, being an elf player, how many lords do the, does this elf deck run? So, recently, recently, there's an addition of an uh, elvish clan caller, which is like, f- there's four more. There's a, a two-mana one. There's a two-mana one uh. that, that calls for more elvish clan callers. <laughs> <laughs> that's why it's called clan callers, it calls for more clans. <laughs> so, that's, that's a thing. So, that's eight. There's four more. Then there's a uh, Ash Druid. Then there's a. Uh, I forgot. I think that's just it. Elvis Champion? Elvis Champ. No, no, don't place Elvis Champion. I mean, I'm just. You know, no, this, place that. This is what I know. <laughs> no one plays Elvis Champion, man. No, that's, that means they only run eight. That's a Timmy eight deck. Lots. Yes. Ah. 
And I think they play Kretel Behemoth too. Some versions play Kretel Behemoth. Really? Some versions play Kretel Behemoth. So I, I think that's spicy. <coughs> yeah, it's a bit spicy. But most most decks win corn are like Charm of the Pack and Overrun You. Yeah, Shaman Pack is pretty disgusting. <laughs> yeah, and uh, what's that? Azuri Overrun. Oh yes, Azuri is uh, Trample. 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 Wow, wow, Tony has to think a lot here. What's he trying to do? I mean... That's a lot of elves on the table on the other side, so I would think a lot as well. Hey man, it's just elves. Yes, it's just one one. You think they're just elves now? Wait till you know next turn with the tons of mana. Oh yes, after yes, after evolution, what can he get out? Can he get the far out? That would be cool. But they would do nothing. Yeah, that it would do nothing. Like, oh, hi. Yes. Okay, sure. You have Vanifa. I have tons of elves and lots of mana. Okay. Oh, I see a resto <laughs> angel. Resto Angel is uh, not really the best. I mean, you can flick your voice to get a friend. Can he? No. Go to graveyard. He couldn't. Yeah. What? <laughs> no, he can't. Yeah. I'm, I just got excited for him. I, I just, I'm rooting for Tong Yi. Okay. I'm rooting for Pagan. I think. You think? Uh, what's he counting? He's counting the damage he's going to get. Oh, he's, okay. So he's scared. He's going to play a shock land tap. Well, what called stream on uh, Eldritch Evolution? Eldritch. Eldritch in, yeah, Eldritch the voice. Get a friend. So he gets a token. <coughs> that's Sigada in his deck. <laughs> oh, yes, that's, he even has a wow, sideboard Sigada. That's his main board. He has a main board Sigada? Yeah. Ooh. He's actually going to take out He's actually going to get out Vanifar. That's cool. Oh, wow. He, he did as got Vanifar out. Take out his like, what's this? That's a cool card, man. It's a spicy card. That's a good card, man. Shall we show chat? Okay. You type it. No. You spelled it wrong. I followed yours. <laughs> it's double N, man. Get the times. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Vanifa, the man, the man himself. Uh, second other creature, such creature with a uh, plus one of the CMC, and then you do the, do the thing. But it's only sorcery speed though. Oh, wait, Pekan is going off. Oh boy. Here uh. comes the house. Oh. Oh boy. Lead the stampede, okay. Oh. How many elves are you going to see today? You still have the druid up, has not tapped yet. Oh, oh, Tattle Sentinel. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh no. Is he going off? I think he is going off. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, this looks so scary. <laughs> oh my gosh, what's happening? He still can <sighs> play another elf. Pretty sure he can. He leaves a stampede only for two cards though, so it's not the not the best not the best result. But I guess three mana dot two is like average average rate for drawing cards. They look at the top five with Stampede, yes? Yeah. Wow. Okay, two seems okay. Two seems okay. She needs some Cocos and some uh some Shaman of the Packs. What I do here, I guess I'll play one elf and then tap the Ashtori to play more. <laughs> Depending on how many elves you have in hand. I right now we only know two. Right. Oh, okay. I was gonna tap for six. Okay, that's six. What's this? Archery. Oh, Nettle Sentinel. Sentinel. Okay, Nettle Sentinel. Four, five, four. Coco? Oh my god, Coco. S wow. What is he? Six? Archery. Archery. Tap. Uh oh, is this? Oh no. Oh! oh! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oof! Oh my god, that was painful. That's the big oof right there, folks. Uh, Ouch. Damn. 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 That was... Mm. Okay, Zongi can go off this turn. He can... I think he... Uh, can he... Can he combo off this turn? So he's Vanifar into... A scribe Ranger? To untap Vanifar. 
Van okay, I tap Vanifa, okay. Okay, return the forest, tap Vanifa. Then sack again to get uh Rallya. Sack again, get Rallya, Renegade. Rallya, Renegade, bring back Ranger. Ranger, bring back Ranger, return the forest, untap Vanifa. Then sacrifice again. Okay. Forest. Return the forest. Okay. okay, so this this you can only play this once a turn, but after you bounce it, it doesn't count as a yeah, it counts as a different it's a different entity already, yeah. so you can play again. So sack again, get resto or yeah, Wait. Two, add one. Oh, bell resto ringer. angel. Oh, bell ringer. Okay. Yeah, bell ringer. That bring Resto Angel. Wait. Flash. Bowringer. Come play. Untap. Sack. Jiki Jiki. Oh. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> and then Kiki Jiki the Bowringer and then GG. <laughs> Wow. What? <laughs> it's such a cool combo. It's such a cool combo. Wait, what's it called? Bellringer? Bellringer. Um, yeah. Yeah, village bellringer. Bell so cool, right? That's so dumb! What? <laughs> 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 what? Make a copy of Kiki and tap L. Oh, make a I, I know how it works, man, but. It's so cool. <laughs> It's not cool, it's just... This is why I'm rooting for Tsong Yi. <laughs> he just went off out of nowhere. <laughs> what? I like, that was so I love, random. I love, you guys should have seen Alfian's, uh, Alfian's uh, res, uh, expression just now, just when when when, when Tsong Yi was going on. It was just priceless. It was just priceless. Why should like, hey, what? <laughs> Did that just really happen? <laughs> that kind of expression he was giving. Oh my god. I mean, we all had the feeling that, the, you know, like, like the elf deck was gonna win. Right. Yeah, it was it was like, like you know, what can your Vanifa do? <laughs> Apparently your Vanifa can do a lot. Damn, that was broken. That was, that was very that was very broken. It's quite nice to watch though. It's quite nice to watch. I actually like that. Wow, that's so strong. So you need Vanifa and a random creature on the field. No, a, a one mana creature. You don't oh, need you don't oh, you don't need, yeah, you don't need yeah, a one mana yeah. creature. It can be any creature. Of course it can. Yeah. Well, at least one amount and a mon. You can't use the token. Right. Yeah, you can't use the token. Uh, that was so nice. Oh, that was pretty sexy to watch. <laughs> but Vanifa needs to live though. Needs to live one turn. Against Elf, I, th I don't uh, see a problem. Yeah, Elf doesn't have interaction, so... I rub decay at most. Vanifa is a tree drop, right? Yeah, is it? Yeah, it's a tree, yeah, drop. It's a tree drop. So I think either... Um, the, what's the new... Uh, what's the decay card? Uh, uh, a probably decay. There's one more, that one that was a census trophy. Yeah, trophy, trophy be the other card that I know some elf players play. Right. Just remember, mm. there's another option. Um, yeah, I can't think of anything else. Man, this Chong Chong deck is so it's kind of broken. I thought you were supposed to root for Chong This deck is pretty broken, man. I don't yeah. Not sure if I can root for a deck this broken. <sighs> it's not that broken. Don't so say that. So broken. Stop saying that. Everybody kept saying Twin was broken and then look at where's Twin at. Ben. Is this Blitz is broken too? I think you should ban Benifar. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no banning of Benifar. Ben <laughs> ben it's not that broken. It's, oh, why, why don't you just... It's hard to set up. It's not easy. Why don't you just ban Kiki Jiki all, all together? <laughs> then you'll have no combo decks. Kiki Jiki is a 5 drop that's too too easy to deal with. But it's his. It's still easy to deal with. How do you deal with it? You bolt it. Uh, sudden Shock? Play Southern Shock. <laughs> I mean, if you're that worried about Kiki Jiki, <laughs> yes, then you play Southern Shock. Damn. Like oh. everybody was playing what Combust or the one that the the, the spell the uh, the instant that cannot be counted and prevented the fire damage that kills like Pestamite and uh, what's the other one? Uh, oh, I actually, do not know what card that is. Is it Combust? No, that's fire damage. This is like Roast. Mm, Roast was another card. No, too. no, it's a. Uh, Rending Volley. Oh, Rending Volley. Yeah, Rending Volley. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, people all side that in, you know, just to go against Twin. So, I mean, if they, they're that afraid of, like, Kiki, just wow. bring Sudden Shock. It's broken, man. This, this, is not, this is not real. This is not real life. Or you can even use Pithy Needle to stop Benifa. 
It's not real life, man. Come on. Ah, uh, the Elves players almost had it. Come on, it was so close. It was so close. It's not. This is this is not real. I'm not. This is a dream. Stop. Wake up. I'm living in. I'm, I'm living on. It's one of those dream times. Don't worry. I mean, I, I, I like, like I said, it's a pretty hard deck to set up though. Like, you, if you're missing a few pieces or your opponent destroy one of the pieces, you need just need to repeat again. It's not easy. But by splitting elves, he has no disruptions. He's he's gonna sideboard some. Maybe pitting needle or. I'm skeptical. Sorcerer spyglass. I'm very skeptical, man. <laughs> oh I'm very skeptical. <laughs> you need to be optimistic. I'm not optimistic at all, man. I think Cho I think Chong is gonna win. Oh, come on. Fagan has no hope. Oh not not against this this <laughs> this new degeneracy that has played this earth. Oh now I know no. how Chong has how now, now I know how Chong Yi made a perfect perfect score this today. <laughs> yeah. I think this this deck. Oh my gosh, oh, it's, it's so, crazy to watch, it's so broken. This uh, broke ass deck. Okay, time to switch decks. No more playing just can't control. Time for some Venafar port. Okay. His hand looks a bit um shit. It's not a good hand. Chongi? Chongi's hand doesn't look very good. Oh. Doesn't have a proper like Is it good? I'm not sure. I don't see like mana dock or two Oh yeah, he has, does have voice of resurgence. <laughs> Can that <laughs> not I'm not salty, I'm just shocked. This is very shocked. <laughs> he is he is a, a elf player. He supports the elf deck. He was just <laughs> sudden shock. Oh my gosh. Man, this this deck is pretty broken, man. <laughs> so Blooming Marsh into Leno Elves, okay. Uh, okay, Heritage Druid, this is a good start. Into Azuri, oh, okay, okay. Wow. Um He can't really activate Azuri without tapping his elves though. Right? No, he can. Yeah. And if you tap your elf for the mana, you can't a attack with that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so it doesn't really... It's not really very useful, right? So Not at this point. Not at this point. You can bolt Kikijiki in response to him, tap. That's true, that is true. Don't but deal with it, yeah. But like, like, like I said, he's easy to deal with. Kikijiki is easy to deal with. It's not an easy deck to maintain or keep your creatures alive. This guy's, this guy's in black-green. <laughs> I can say that's a replica <laughs> and you know I'm not sure. I have I have doubts that elves I have doubts that my I have my doubts that elves players that this elf player has abrupt decay or assassin's trophy. And then you think he's going just aiming for the rush and then I think that's the plan actually. Mm. That might be the plan. Uh this I'm mm, not sure what Not sure what he could have. So if he plays, he taps three. Okay, so he goes to third land. Uh -huh. His hand looks a bit short. He might be, he might be interested in like leading the stampede. True. That would be pretty good. Okay, so kind of souls is the counter clause doesn't actually, the can't be counter clause doesn't actually do much here. So okay, it's gonna swing in with the Azuri and the. Azuri is a 3 2, right? It's a 3 2. Is it? Let's check. I remember it being a 2 2. Oh, I might be wrong. Yeah, it is a 2 2, right? Yeah, it's a 2 2. You got it. It is a 2 2. Yeah, yeah, it is a 2 2. So swinging Azuri. Mm, he two, cannot two. Re regenerate himself, so he's hoping that the Generate. boys get blocked. Mm, this seems like a really. Oh no, he's hoping for Coco. Coco. He might have Coco. Mm, well, that's true, that's true. Yeah, he's hoping to bait his opponent to block with voice. If not, okay. he's Coco. I'm he's tapping five. Okay. Oh, it's gonna no, it's gonna pump with the Azuri, so it's ah, gonna. Ah, uh, okay, line okay. Not C. What? <laughs> I, I didn't. I okay. Don't see Azuri very often. So it's, it's, it's okay, mate. <laughs> I'm Not, sorry. We don't we don't see we don't see elf very often either. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. We don't see elf very often, so I guess it's fine. Wow. That's, that's, that's a lot of damage though. That is a lot of damage. Chong Yi has to find ways to come back from this. Uh, yeah. He don't have Vanifa and... Eldritch? Eldritch Evolution. Not sure if that does... The next turn, he's pretty dead. Yeah, he is pretty dead next turn. Yeah, he plays the <laughs> fourth land and he just like rampages through. So Chong Yi plays land. If Chong Yi plays land, Eldritch, bring in Vanifa. And then uh, what? Uh, that doesn't do much because Vanifa is like... 
summoning sickness. Fairy justice. Fairy justice. No, the fairy justice. There's because it can divide the damage. I'm fairy, not. Fairy justice take five. You do five, and then you you divide among the creatures here. I mean, he could. Uh, reg- that's he true. Even regenerate. That's true. I think I recall. I, I recall uh, him playing fairy justice yeah, in his deck, right? Yeah, deck plays. Right, right, right. Yeah. So he might have. Fairy justice. I'm not sure if he might. I'm not sure if he would bring that in though. It feels like a card specifically specifically meant to be used against uh what's I that? mean Elvis is the perfect target, no? Pre black. That's true, that's true. Five damage split between yeah. multiple targets. Maybe he has it. He has Kiki Jiki in his hand too. Oh yeah, Kiki Jiki. Is, is there a way he can shuffle it back into the deck? No, <laughs> no way, it's just stuck there now. Oh boy, yeah. I mean I that's the only other card I know could could help him, you know, here right now. Huh. Um, because opponents are tapped out, there's no way to regenerate. It's a good opportunity to wipe the board. Right. Okay, Eldritch Evolution. It's gonna sacrifice. No, he, Wait, he doesn't have triple. Double, 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 double green. Oh, oh no. no. Oh rip. It's not. Hmm. Oh wow. Oh, he should have played the other land. Should have played the. Should have played the stomping grounds. He's, he's being conservative with the life yeah, I think it doesn't. I don't. I don't think the two the two life actually matters here though. I think you're, you're more concerned about getting more creatures on the field, or doing what you wanted to do uh, before your elves before the elves player can go yeah. off. Horizon canopy in opponent's hand. Okay, so Horizon canopy. Uh, so if he if he goes if he overruns here, it is. It is enough. It's five, 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 four, four. He blocks this and this. So five will go. Well. Three, tr- no three two, three plus two plus four. It's not enough. He needs another lot, I think. Mm. Okay, he's going in. He's going in with everything. Okay, I think it, I think he's one off here. Unless he's oh, oh wait, wait. Is, he is he gonna? Hmm. This is interesting. Double block, but you know only what five. Oh yeah, five. Nine, nine damage go through. Yeah, yeah. That's it's, yeah, like, yeah. It's okay. Yeah, right. right. So that, that doesn't matter where he puts the yeah. unless. So he just needs to kill one creature. Yeah, so he just wanna kill one creature. <laughs> so I think you overrun here, right? Then yeah, yeah. obviously you overrun here, and then uh, you you go in for nine. Or he could just regenerate and then Coco. That's true, that's true. Mm, yeah, he, the, a lot of... Pe- because pe- you don't want to kill the... Right, right, yeah. yeah. Pekan has, lo- Pekan has lots of options here. Uh, so, tap the Lano Elves. Regenerate, yeah. Regenerate, okay, cool. Okay, okay. Uh, that's cool, that's cool. So, so opponents uh, have yeah, so it's seven. So Dwayne's elite is gonna get him another elf. Yeah, opponents at seven, but just they just forgot to update the. Yeah, seven. opponents at seven. I'm pretty sure uh, Pagan should be able. Pagan should be able to get this unless Chong is somehow able to give his uh, Vanifa haste. Expedite. Really? Yeah, man. Oh, like maximize velocity. <laughs> yeah, man. I don't think they have enough card slots for that. Oh, oh yeah, yeah that's okay. Game, yeah. The elf deck. The elf. The elf's one. Okay. Hmm. That, he really needed fiery, fiery, fiery justice. He needed fire, He needed either fiery justice or like a way to go off. Maybe I'm not sure about what no, happened. No, he couldn't get anything else. Didn't matter because. Pagan was already so far ahead. Right, right. So I'm not sure what happened earlier, but I think if if Chong Yi was able to uh, cast what he wanted to di- do just now, right? Yeah. Without uh, and if he played co- his correct the correct land, yeah, he might have been able to do something. I'm not very sure, but uh, him playing the colorless land actually True. kind of screwed him over. He I agree. Didn't. Bec- oh, it was the colorless land. Yeah, it was the Hanwei Bar- Garrison. Oh yes, yes. yes because yes. this deck is uh this this Vanifa Pot deck uh we've seen versions of it like, uh oh. Kiki Kiki yeah. Kiki Evolution all these previous versions, they are tip. This is a typically very greedy deck. It plays four colors, 
So uh, you you you're very mana fixing so horrible. Yeah, very big on trying to get lots of mana. I remember some versions even ran filter lands from True. Eventide and Morning, True, true. from the Law Win Law Win blocks, so that they would have perfect mana. Mm-hmm. Actually, I'm uh hmm, I'm uh quite curious. Would you play Noble High Art over the Birds of Paradise? Definitely, Exalted is always. I mean, you, there's, there are games where I sometimes win with just Exalted. Right, but this is like a two-box deck, right? But sometimes you don't get a two-box. And then we, th- there was a game where Zhonghee was playing. <coughs> he won without even comboing off. We just beat down. What he beat down with? Uh, scavenging ooze. Oh, okay. It was just crazy. It was like, then I was telling Ryan that like, Wow, like I like this deck because you know you you don't have to depend on the combo. You can just go for the beatdown. Yeah, a lot of decks, a because lot of decks he had have that. Schools and three hierarchs. Right. And <laughs> just beat and then eat creatures off, and then beat with the schools with three exalted mm, triggers. That's true. Yeah. It's just crazy. I'm not sure if Zhongyi is even that that uh intense on red, right? Because you're not yeah, you're not you don't exactly want to hard cast the true, the true, true. Kihijiki either. I think that's the only red spell. Uh. So for top eight we have top eight. So this are, wait, hold on. Let's get let's see Rian. Rian, can you get the? You, can you check? Can you, can you check the other the other the other table? See what they're playing. Oh, Gavin is the other one. Oh yeah, it's Gavin. It's Gavin. Spirits. Ben yeah, spirits. it's Ben Spirits and uh something else. Yeah, the spirits. The guy with Spirits is still in. Is still in the top eight. Oh, oh yeah, well, he he does play Battle of Paradise. Yeah, they play. He yeah, he play both. both. Yeah, he probably plays both. Yeah. You do want the combo as soon as possible, so it's probably accelerating your mana. Yeah. Bur- bur- growth of the burn reload also proving to be quite cool. Spell Skite and another uh, birds. birds. Okay. No, you know the last deck? Yeah, was ah, Chin E on Gra- on Crixis Death Shadow. Okay. Death so we have Crixis Death Shadow, uh, Spirits, and these two guys, Elves and Vanifa Pot. Nice. Okay, so okay, we're seeing we're seeing Pagan. I think he's trying to go a bit faster, a lot faster than Chongyi is. Tap three, Elvish Arch drew it past the turn. Okay, uh, that's funny. Find his hand, right? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it, it is. It is. It is. It is. Oh, oh okay. So if uh, if Pagan have no answer this turn for Vanifa, yeah, he's four mana though. Four mana is quite a big investment in modern. But which is why Chongyi, I think, runs like two, four noble hierarchs and four birds, right? Yeah. So because you definitely want to hit four mana as soon as possible. Uh, did he say that DS, DS is kind, is of, kind of favorite? I think I think DS I think DS is pretty good against Vanifa Paul actually. Yeah. DS has like the hand destruction. Oh my goodness! And spot removal up the wall. Spot removal, yeah. <laughs> so, so spot, yes. I think Vanifa Paul like kind of dies to spot removal and hand destruction, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, see a spell sky here. Not sure if the spell sky is gonna actually do anything in this matchup because elves is just gonna probably run you over. True. But maybe the spell sky is just there for utility reasons, right? You just want it to be there as like a a sacrifice outlet it's for a, the. It's a guard too. It's a protection. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm just saying that sometimes the spell sky is not really a protection bubble. It's just like, you know, for for the <laughs> stepping yes, st- yes. a stepping stone to yes. greatness. It's cannon fodder. In the top four, yeah, I think I think GDS is a bit favored. What's GDS? What's it, what's what's the other deck? GDS. Ben Spirits. Ben Spirits. Yeah. Uh, wow, actually, Ben Spirits against GDS. I'm not sure how that goes. Uh, Spirits might be a bit. I think I might. That that feel that feels a bit. Spirits might have a chance actually because GDS is on the floor and Spirits are on the it's on the sky and GDS t- typically wants to go a true, bit lower, true, right? True. So Spirits might be might have some sort sort of advantage in the sky if they're able to and if they're able to uh, establish some sort of tempo. Mm-hmm. But if uh, GDS is able to control from the start and uh, the tempo doesn't get going, I, I think agree. yeah, I think that the GDS will have a much better time. But uh, enough of enough of GDS and uh, enough of GDS and and, that, spirits. and spirits. Yeah, we're going. We are here to see elves and Vanifa Pot. Vanifa is going off right now. I think it's going off. So do you sacrifice the spell skite? To get, oh. I think you want the ranger first. Oh yeah, 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 yeah definitely, definitely. Okay, so it's one something. Okay. One mana. One, one okay. 
so it's floating mana with yeah. the with the, the, paradise. the paradise. Not sure what color that is. Activate. So I'm gonna sacrifice that. Get the ranger, I'm assuming. Script ranger, strike ranger. Tap the forest for to float mana. Return the forest. I, I think he's going off, right? Unless. I think if I think he is in fact going off. <laughs> I'm like I mean. No Spirit Ranger. Like, Pagan has no answer right now. Yeah. Answer. Yeah. This is yeah, a, this he is has only one black, one black, one black green. This is the same combo we are seeing previously. Oh, no. oh no! No, the, no. the stream couldn't take the combo. Sorry, the stream. Yeah, the stream's too. Combo's too strong for the stream, man. <laughs> Sorry. The combo's too busted. We need, we need, okay. we need, we need a banning. That's the renegade. Bell ringer. Bell ringer. Okay. Tap. Sacrifice again. Yeah, sacrifice. Flicker, sacrifice again. Kiki jiki. Kiki, kiki jiki. Dismember. Dismember. Oh. Dismember. Oh, that would be. Dismember. Oh, oh no, dismember. No, no dismember. justice. No. Oh, dude. <laughs> uh, oh boy. Yeah, I do, I I think this. You know what? Look, uh, thinking about it more of thinking a bit more, I think else is not really favored in this matchup. Else need okay, so right. You, you see this Vine 4 pot deck, this Vine 4 pot deck goes off on turn 3. Yeah. The Elf deck goes off on like turn 4 or 5. True. So that's like one turn disadvantage already. If Assuming that both both players have would like... You, would you as an Elf player like cut some of your pieces out to just play the spot removals like this member? Yeah, I, def I definitely would. Because... Uh, like as knowing that the deck is the, as, the way it is. As a, as a, I think as an Elf player, I would have some... I would have some spot removal in my sideboard regardless, right? Yeah. Some... Some uh some form of uh like assassin's trophy assassin's trophy is good. Mm -hmm. Dismember maybe dismember is also good. I mean, uh, I, I, Brab decay is good. Brab decay yes and no because you cannot stop the benefit. <laughs> you cannot stop the kiki jiki. Yeah yeah I think oh man this deck is so busted. Uh slaughter pack. Slaughter pack yeah yeah. Huh? Well okay look, if you look at it this okay, look at <laughs> look at it this way look at it this way all combo decks are busted if they if they have no interaction. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you Woolen. Coyote. Thank you, thank you. Actually, Elf is also busted, right? Yes. It's if, no, it's if you it's, don't I mean, with it, it's, 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 it's tier 2 at best, but it's still, I, I, I still think it's busted. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I can see it like, just come out from nowhere. Like, I, like the Shaman of the pack. It right. It's out of nowhere. It's pretty disgusting. It's crazy, crazy stuff. Anyway, guys, uh, that's it for our semifinals here at Grail Games. Uh, do stay tuned for our finals. We'll have Lim Chong Yi on Vanifa Pot against the winner of the Ban Spirits and the... Shadow? Death Shadow, yeah. Yes, Chong Yi is a good player. He is, in fact, uh, a pro tour grinder. He is constantly in the Mythic Championships and part of, t part of Team Great Oak Games as well. So if you want to uh, see more of Chong Yi in action, uh, catch him on the pro tour, on the Mythic Championship, or wh whatever you want to call it now. He's not a... He, I think he's like a gold pro? Silver gold? Silver or gold. Silver or gold, one, one or the other. But uh, yeah. Oh, he did put in a fire justice. <laughs> Justice. Okay. It's okay. the only logical thing to you know when you play oh himself. Oh my gosh! Okay. I would put in Pyramid Justice. Yeah, this yeah. is such a good card. This this is a clever deck though. Yeah, I, it's a clever this deck. This is a very clever. I love it. This is like an EDH combo deck. <laughs> 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 you know, like. All right, guys. All right, uh, we'll, we'll see you. Right back. Yeah, we'll see you in the finals. Yeah. See you guys. Silver, silver. There's a silver. Yeah. Oh, it's Chong is a silver. Okay, that's cool. All right, we're gonna put some replays up, and yeah. I will be back with the final round. See ya. I. Uh, you guys should. I I eat already. Oh, well, 